As companies implement digital transformation initiatives, IT teams are finding themselves facing new challenges. Unfortunately, they may still be working with outdated tools that can only give a narrow view into the health of the overall services provided to internal or external customers. To make sure that your company's environment is performing as expected for your end users, you need a solution that can not only monitor different technologies, but that can help you understand how the different parts work together to become services which provide value to your customers. Splunk IT Service Intelligence, or ITSI, is built to bring you that insight. Splunk ITSI provides service context for your data which can give you visibility into interactions and dependencies, reducing MTTR when issues occur. Even better, Splunk ITSI includes powerful machine learning to help you understand what is normal for your environment and even let you know about problems before they happen. For the purposes of this demo, we'll be looking at a fictional online store called Buttercup. The Buttercup store is a mix of on-prem and cloud infrastructure that supports a web store and a mobile shopping app. This is Service Analyzer, a high-level, out-of-the-box visualization designed to help an operator quickly see the health of services and KPIs. You can see right away that there are some services having issues. By changing the view from panels to a tree, we can see how Buttercup services depend on each other. With this view, we can see that there are issues in several services, but it looks like the one that they all depend on is the on-prem database service. Let's take a closer look at which KPIs are having issues for this service. Response time is certainly suffering, but we also have problems with disk space and memory. Let's drill a little deeper. It looks like just one of the Buttercup MySQL servers is having issues. Clearing disk space is easy and fixes the immediate problem, but maybe we should look a little more closely at what caused the disk to fill up before this becomes an ongoing issue. Episode review shows us all the alerts received from Splunk or other tools for Buttercup services using machine learning or customizable rules for more complete visibility into the health of those services. We can see that the on-prem database service is getting a lot of alerts from Nagios and SNMP for disk space and some other OS metrics like CPU or memory. Deep Dive lays out KPI and service health status in swim lanes, providing a visual investigation tool to see the health of Buttercup's KPIs and services over time. We can see the disk space issues and some issues with memory and CPU. We can even see the impact on KPIs from other services in this view. However, if we want to find root cause, we'll need to look elsewhere. Let's drill into these Windows events. Well, this is odd. The scheduled account is the one used to run log rotation among other automated tasks. If it's having login issues, that would explain why the disk eventually filled up. Oh, it looks like someone changed the password on that account before the failed logins began. So the true root cause of Buttercup's issue is a password change. Another tool that can help IT teams work more effectively is VictorOps. From the VictorOps War Room UI, we can see all of the details for a given incident. If we decide that we need more eyes on the problem, we can add more teams or users, notifying them that their assistance is required. VictorOps suggested responders feature, available in both the web interface and the mobile app, uses machine learning to identify users who have worked on similar incidents in the past. VictorOps also uses machine learning to pull together those similar incidents into one place so we can see how they were worked and what steps were taken to resolve them, helping to reduce MTTR with insights into the most efficient way to fix the problem quickly. Now, no one could predict that Buttercup's junior sysadmin was going to change a password today, but it is possible to look at the degrading KPIs and make a prediction about future service health. When response time, disk space, CPU, and memory all start trending in a bad direction, we can use ML to predict when the service health is going to drop below a specified threshold. Alerts can be sent into episode review so that Buttercup's admins can take action before the problem impacts customers. In order to get the best results for predictive analytics, you need thresholds that accurately convey what normal is. You might have a KPI like web traffic that varies at different times of day. Setting a single static upper or lower threshold can seem futile. Splunk ITSI can help you with machine learning based on historical data to set thresholds that more accurately tell you what is normal for your KPIs. You've seen how Splunk ITSI can help you with machine learning to determine what normal looks like for KPIs, then use that information to predict potential service issues before they happen. You've also seen how VictorOps can help teams take advantage of lessons learned in past incidents to streamline their responses to new incidents.
You've also seen how Splunk ITSI can help investigation when incidents do occur, giving your IT teams tools like deep dive, episode review, and service analyzer to investigate quickly and effectively, reducing MTTR, and letting your IT teams focus on moving your digital transformation forward.